So if you are a software developer who is very good with programming, who loves coding and uh, you might be interested in learning cloud or you want to get into cloud. So I'm going to answer some of the questions that you have been asking me for a long time, especially for the programmers or for people who are interested in programming and also want to upgrade their career into cloud computing. So I'm going to address four questions in this video. The first and foremost question, so what is the scope or what is the role of a software developer in cloud? And second question is, do you have to ditch programming to upskill yourself into cloud computing? The third, what are the most important skills that you have to procure or the skills that you need to become a good cloud developer or a software developer in cloud? And finally, do you have to do certifications and what certifications do you have to focus on as a software engineer? So before I answer these questions, I would like to take a minute to thank my sponsor for this video. Whenever you host your application in any hosting service provider, you would ideally have to choose a cloud service provider because that gives you a peace of mind, flexibility of scaling in, scaling out as we all know. So the platform comes with the PHP based pre-baked in applications where you can choose uh, WordPress or WooCommerce. WordPress is the most common blogging website and then select your app and select either of these cloud service providers. The best part is you can see the pricing, it's pay as you go model and you'll get 24 by 7 support. So if you have any plans of hosting your website, a PHP based website in a cloud service provider, then I highly recommend using Cloudbase. You're going to get a $15 free hosting credit using my coupon. I'm going to give you that in the description. And you're also going to get a one month completely free hosting using my code word code GK. Thanks to Cloudbase for sponsoring this video. So as companies are migrating into cloud and we have discussed this in my videos that, you know, still there is only 6% or 7% of adoption into cloud and companies would definitely go into cloud. So if you're a software developer who is very good with programming, you still have to learn cloud because ultimately you're going to run your application in the cloud. You're going to write the code and you're going to make sure that the code is running properly or the software is running properly within the cloud. Now your role would be not only just to write the code, but also to understand how the software would behave in the cloud or how to write microservices in the cloud, how to secure them, and how to use different cloud native services. And if you're using the best services possible in the, within the cloud, not only to save the cost of the company, but also to scale that application in, inside the cloud. So your role as a developer will not only be limited to just writing the code, but also making sure that you are designing and you are helping your company working closely with SR engineers, with DevOps engineers, and helping them to make your application scalable. Now the second question, do I have to ditch the programming to become a good cloud developer or do I have to ditch completely coding or get into, you know, DevOps or SRE roles or learn Linux and get into operations. So my recommendation is please don't do that because if you are, if you love programming and if you are a hardcore developer, you don't have to ditch programming to become a cloud developer. You have to learn certain skills to adapt to the cloud computing world and then upgrade your skills to become a software developer who has good understanding of DevOps, you know, SRE and also who have a very good understanding of uh, cloud so that you can develop a very good software so, you, so that you can develop within the framework of, you know, cloud services. And you can also learn a little bit of how to deploy the code or uh, how to create infrastructure in the cloud. Now coming to the third question, what are the main important skills that you have to learn to get into a cloud computing? Or if you are currently a developer, what are the main important skills that you have to learn to get into cloud? For this, I'm going to give you a very high level understanding of how companies go into cloud. So first they adopt a strategy of lift and shift where they just lift the application, which is a monolith application into cloud. And then they would deploy that application and then run their business as usual. The second part is app modernization where they will try to break the monolith into microservices. And that's where you as a developer will help the company to write microservices. Now, if you're a core Java developer, so understand how to create a spring based microservices or spring boot, and then understand how to use the restful APIs, how to create the restful API services. And as you're creating a lot of microservices, obviously these microservices will be running inside the cloud. You might have to use uh, Kubernetes services to uh, create those services as Docker containers. So understanding the EKS services or understanding the Kubernetes services, how would you deploy a container? So that would be very helpful. So when you're learning this microservices based architecture, also make sure you have a very good understanding of the API proxy, the API management layer. Like for example, 
the ipg is a famous api management layer or uh, if you want to learn within the aws then you can use api gateway or if you're using um, gcp there is an api api proxy there as well but also gcp has recently acquired apg so you can learn the, uh, you can learn apg too now as you are developing inside the cloud you have to learn some of the cloud native services like we talked about eks which is a kubernetes service for aws if you are a developer or if you want to upgrade your skills into a cloud specific cloud like aws if you are aware of uh, rabbitmq also try to learn sqs or uh, if you are into gcp try to learn pubsub so that's important service to learn and then obviously you will know how to use the logging service how to log your application into a logging service and also how how would you manage your secrets uh, within the cloud if you are a developer and how would you develop the code and build the code within the cloud framework and if you are using azure you know you have to learn azure devops as well because you might have to build the code in microsoft using azure devops so while you are learning all these things make sure you also learn the ci cd tools like uh, git like jenkins maven artifactory and all these basic tools as a developer you know understand the ci cd pipeline how would you deploy the code and how would you build the code and ultimately the other uh, cloud services that we have discussed about now finally what certification you have to do uh, my suggestion is pick any developer certification whether it is aws developer or azure developer or gcp developer you can pick one of the certification they also give you a structured way of learning the cloud so that would help you to become a cloud developer and this is a bonus question now which cloud do you have to pick so my suggestion like i've said again you know you can pick any top three clouds so if you are a developer currently working in a company if they are going into a specific cloud then go to that cloud and get the certification for that cloud or if you are a just developer who is working in a data center you know a java developer then like i've discussed understanding the microservices and all those things get those fundamentals first and then get maybe aws developer or a gcp developer or azure developer and then learn that cloud so that way now you have solid understanding of how to develop the code how to do programming and you have very good strong understanding of data structures and algorithms along with that you have a solid understanding of cloud services that would help you as a developer to code within the cloud ecosystem with all these things on your resume i'm sure that if you are going for uh, any company any product based company as a software developer you will have huge advantage when compared to a software developer though that person might be very good with data structures or he might have cracked or she might have cracked the data structures round but uh, the advantage that you get over that person is you have solid understanding of cloud that might help you to accelerate your career into the cloud computing as a software developer so i hope i have addressed some of the questions that you have been asking me as a software developer but let me know in the comment section here if i missed anything so that i can address in the next video thank you all again for watching this video take care bye